guys welcome back to my channel as you guys can see from the title of this video today is another Majuri video and it is all about holiday so I have a huge holiday Majuri haul from some of their most recent products and also some leftover Black Friday items that I got towards the end of Black Friday from their flash drops so I definitely want to share with you for that as well so I'm gonna start off the video today with some of the haul pieces that I got and then I'm gonna go into some of my own personal recommendations because for me what I classify as a gift is honestly something that you wouldn't normally get for yourself so I feel like that's going to be the theme of my recommendations but anyway as usual if you guys are new to Majuri I have a 10% off code with them so if you use any of the links down below you can get a 10% off discount automatically applied to your order otherwise you can just check out the links down below for all the products that we're gonna talk about today and on top of that if you guys are curious about my entire Majuri collection you can actually check out my website it is lisaway.com slash Majuri and you guys will be able to see my entire collection from Majuri so without any further ado let's get this video started okay so I got four new boxes from Majuri and I'm super excited to show you guys what I got this does not include the last Black Friday haul because I already tore everything open as you do when you get Majuri I just had to hold off when I got this one because I was like I need to put this on the video and to kind of give you guys my authentic reactions so I will also have that haul as well but anyway starting with the first bag I feel like this is just the happiest feeling when you're opening a Majuri box okay so the very first item I ordered is this ring it has two diamonds on it and it has this swirly effect so this is what it looks like I think it looks absolutely Stunning. Wow. Like guys, I can wear this on its own without having to layer. If you are someone that is too lazy to layer, then I highly recommend getting this ring. So also if you look at the back of this ring, I don't know if anyone cares, but it actually does look like two rings. So I definitely just, I like the comfort of this. Honestly, this is my first impression by the way, because as you guys can see, I just got it. But first impression extremely comfortable but yet statementy it's that classic Majuri vibe where it's dainty yet kind of statementy especially this one so oh my god I'm so obsessed okay moving on to the next box okay <gasps> okay the next box we have another ring oh my god you guys when I saw this ring on the website when I tell you I was like add to cart I love this ring so much I just need to show you this is what the ring looks like it's part of their new collection and you can see it's a link and it has a diamond section and also a non-diamond section that just loops together once again first impression extremely comfortable and if you guys are wondering you know like oh why is there comfort when it comes to rings you would be surprised there are some rings that are really tight on your finger and when it gets hot your fingers swell and it just it feels uncomfortable I feel like for both of these I feel like these are going to be just because they're so dainty yet they kind of stand on its own it's just very comfortable and I just love how this little diamond area is just being wrapped around by these two links and it just makes this stand out like this it is so pretty I cannot stop looking at my hand oh my god I'm gonna cut this off now because I'm like of course I'm keeping this hello I need to get new scissors this is very dull hello okay there we go that was a struggle okay anyway Next item is also from the same box and this one you guys are gonna laugh because if you watch my last video So if you guys are new here, I post a lot of Majuri videos I'm gonna leave all of them right here for you guys to check out whichever theme you want to look at But the latest one that I posted was obviously my Black Friday haul and my Black Friday recommendations And I had ordered the initial necklace, but instead the letter A came in So I wanted the letter L only because I have the letter W I want to wear the letters L and W on the same chain together. I feel like that would be so cute because those are my initials and you know It's not like I have a boyfriend anymore because I used to have his initials. Yeah, we won't talk about that anymore But we are back to wearing my own initials, which is fine. I don't care. I love my initials Um, so anyway, I'm gonna be wearing this together I'm gonna show you guys later, but in the meantime Let me show you guys what the letter L looks like in case you guys have never seen it. It's just a very simple statement diamondy 
L. I feel like if you guys are new, you don't know that I actually have a pet peeve when it comes to this letter because I just feel like it's boring instead of like my W is a little bit more exciting. So that's why I ordered the W first because I feel like it represents obviously myself, but then all my family members. So anyway, and it's just a way more exciting letter. But now that I get to order my second letter, I'm like, you know what? I'm actually, this is growing on me. You know, there. I actually feel like there are some other letters that are even more boring. Um, I won't say it out loud because I'm like, I don't want to offend anybody, but I really looked at that alphabet, okay? 26 letters, and I'm like, you know what? L ain't so bad. It's fine. I, I'm good. I'm good. So anyway, I'm going to put this on together, and I can't wait to show you what that looks like. On to the next box. Okay, opening it up. By the way, if you guys don't know, I feel like I have to say this in every single video. Do not, oh my god, I swear to god, do not throw out this little cloth okay because this little cloth cleans your jewelry like no tomorrow so if you have any jewelry not just majority but like you can obviously clean majority products if you have any jewelry products that tarnishes this cloth is infused with a jewelry cleaner and it just takes the tarnish right out you have to keep this cloth i don't even care do not throw it out okay if you throw the box out do not throw out the cloth okay so the next box is actually a really funny box to open because i just got the diamond one but the next one is also a initial necklace but this one is an actual necklace instead of a pendant. And yes, there is a difference, okay, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, the pendant, it is obviously, you can wear it with any chain as long as it fits through this hole. You can layer it with other chains like what I'm gonna do and it kind of obviously slides around everywhere. The good news and bad news is obviously way more customizable, but the issue is obviously the part where the clasp is is going to kind of just move around and you're gonna have to always go like pull it back if you guys know what i mean i know you know what i mean because it happens to everybody but this one the reason why i feel like this one i wanted to get is because this one's connected directly to the letter so you will never have that problem and this one is also without diamond so if you guys are not very into diamond don't want to pay the price point of diamond or whatever it is for either of these three reasons like you don't want to move your necklace around you don't want a diamond or you just kind of want something a little bit more on the affordable side i feel like this is a great alternative the other reason that I ordered this is because I wanted to show you a really great gift idea because although I don't have a boyfriend, okay, a lot of you may have one or not a boyfriend, a girlfriend, whatever, it doesn't matter. Whoever it is, I feel like it is such a great gift to get someone your initial. I think I just got the idea from High School Musical, okay? I feel like when Troy gave Gabriella his necklace, although Gabriella asked that stupid question where he, where she's like, T for Troy? like. Of course, Gabriella. Like, who who else are you dating that also his name starts with a T? Like, anyway, that is my little rant. But I feel like this necklace is so cute. And I also believe this one is shorter. But I'm going to try it on and show you guys. Okay, so this is the length of the necklace. This is already on the furthest hook. You can even shorten this even more. But I actually did the furthest hook. And this one is actually pretty short. This is where it dangles off. I actually love this length. Once again, this is what's going to differentiate this from the diamond pendant. But I actually love this length. And I always answer you guys' DMs. By the way, if I don't answer your DM, you might not be following me because I think it then goes to spam or something. There's like three folders to censor me I don't know to protect what I see I guess anyway so the moral of the story you need to follow me but anyway if you guys message me on Instagram I get a lot of questions or even comments on these YouTube videos asking me like oh for the serpentine necklace like what length do you get I always get the shortest one okay I usually always go for the shortest one I either go for the shortest or I go for the longest where it literally can be seen when I'm wearing a sweater but otherwise, I usually go for the shorter necklace if there's a length option. So for the serpentine, for example, I'm going so off tangent now. The serpentine one, I'd go for the shorter one. This one, I'm obsessed with because I currently do not have a pendant necklace at this length. And I feel like this is going to really help me with layering. So I absolutely love this. This is what it looks like up close. I just feel like it looks so cute. And look at my two little rings that are new. I'm just so obsessed. Okay, on to the next spot. I think I know what this is because when I saw this item on the website, I'm like, if I don't have this, so help me Lord. Okay. And when you guys see it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay. Guys, this 
you need to get this. I, I don't even care. You need to get these earrings. So this earring is the chain earring with the diamond on top, okay? And you can wear this obviously like this where it dangles, but more importantly, you can wear this where this hoops up and it goes through. So it looks like a linked chain when you wear it like this, okay? I'm gonna put it on and show you guys, but the reason why I said you guys will know that I love this is because if you are OG Majuri video watchers of mine, you will know the one item in Majuri, okay, not one, but like one of the items that I'm by far obsessed with is the one that they collabed with for a really long time with Sarah Harris, I believe her name was. Anyway, she made this exact earring. It was a little bit thicker in the chain and definitely didn't have diamond. And that was one of my most worn pieces in life. Okay, in life. I love that piece so much. And so many people kept on asking me where I got it. And I'm like, it's from a jury. And then we realized that they discontinued that style because the collaboration was over and nobody could get it anymore. So anyway, it just made me so sad because I was like, you guys need to get this earring. You guys need to get this earring. The people that didn't listen missed out. But now you guys can get the diamond version. It is so cute. Even if you already have the existing one, like I said, I do feel like the chain is not as thick and it also has the diamond detail and it's just so gorgeous just seriously one of my favorite pieces I'm so glad they came out with another one and for those of you who didn't get a chance to get that other collaboration to get this I'm gonna put this earring on in both ways to show you what it looks like so this is exactly why I love these earrings so much I could wear these like dangled and you're getting basically two earrings for the price of one. And then this one, I'm gonna loop it around and show you guys. And you can even see like how easy it is for me to put this on even with my long nails and me living alone. As you guys know, I love to complain <laughs> about how when I live alone, I can't put a damn bracelet on. Anyway, these earrings, I've gotten so pro at it because like I said, I've had the OG ones and I can do this with my eyes closed. See, this is what it looks like when it's looped together. It is so pretty. I get so many compliments. Like if there's one takeaway from this entire video and this video has just started, it's to get these, okay? I don't, I don't care, I don't care, just get these. Okay, and then this is the other one. If you wear it like, or like this. Anyway, I'm obsessed. The next set of earrings, oh my gosh, I also know what this is because I was really excited to get this. If you guys watch my vlogs, you'll know I'm also very obsessed with silver right now. So I actually even bought a silver bag. I don't know if you can, oh, it's not here. Anyway, I bought a silver, like an all silver bag. I bought silver boots. I. You can see on my Instagram, okay? I'm having a huge silver moment. And then because of that, I'm like, okay, wait, the gold jewelry is not gonna fly. So every time I'm wearing silver hardware or just silver boots or whatever, I change it all up and my entire look is going to be in silver. The last time I already got these Majuri earrings that were the silver hoop earrings, but they came out with these really, really pretty ones. As you guys can see, it's just this very statementy, like dangling thing. I'm gonna show you guys right now. I I just love the way that this looks. It doesn't look like the viral Bottega earrings, if you guys know what I'm talking about. These ones are kind of quite similar. It has the same statement vibe and it just looks so good on its own. So if you're wearing anything silver, this could be your look and this could be what the earrings look like. I absolutely love it. I love it. Moving on to some of my haul from the remainder of Black Friday that wasn't shown because it arrived a little bit later, but I wanted to show you some of the pieces because some of them are so gorgeous. So the first one is this asymmetrical piece. What I love about this is that obviously it has a little cute diamond detailing. It has real pearl. Obviously this is solid gold, so you never need to take it off. But also on one of the sides, there's actually two chains. So I feel like if you're like an asymmetrical girly, which I am sometimes, like honestly, I like to have things that are mismatched. You guys know from other types of jewelry hauls, I like it when earrings are a little bit, you know, different on each side. So I absolutely love this idea. It's just so 
cute and I feel like they have a few linked necklaces now they came out with another one I have a couple now this is probably by far one of my favorites as well so definitely check this one out this is what this necklace looks like as you guys can see there's the two chains on this side and of course I'm layering it with the initial did I accidentally discover the cutest little necklace layering okay and also what I love about this is same thing with this necklace you will never have the back of the necklace come to the front so forever this will just always be like that i feel like i don't know if you're into that then obviously this is these two necklaces are going to be it for you because you never have to adjust your necklace next up on my hauls are a couple of hoop earrings and some hoop charms so let me show you so the first pair of hoop earrings are these ones right here i absolutely love the shape of these these earrings are in gold vermeil because they are very statementy so i don't mind that they're gold vermeil honestly i have to take off these very statementy earrings off at the end of the night anyway so that's why for more dainty pieces like this one, I would never take it off and I would always prefer if it's solid gold. But for a statement piece like this, I would be so uncomfortable sleeping in it. So it's okay if it's gold vermeil for me, where if you guys don't know what that means, it just means gold plated. It is not 100% solid gold, but, and you definitely need to take it off when you shower and you know, etc. But anyway, these ones are just such a cute, statement earring i'm going to show you what it looks like i feel like as i'm expanding my collection i am trying to gather more statement earrings as well because i find that a lot of the times for my job especially if we're doing photo shoots i find that sometimes the dainty earrings aren't really showing up in the pictures especially if you're wanting to use your jewelry to style your outfit as well especially if the outfit is very simple so this is why i've been collecting actually some more statement pieces as you guys can see from the theme so this one is so cute I feel like it's very very classic. I don't think this style would ever go out of trend I think that you could wear this at any time and it would go with any outfit like even this little cute sweater I feel like this just looks so cute together. Okay, the next set of earrings I didn't even get a chance to wear one of them But I got two pairs of hoops with two pairs of charms and they're both red if you guys are Kind of just even on Instagram in general You'll know that red is kind of the color of the season so I got these gold vermeil hoops because the charms are also in gold vermeil. These are just simple hoops. If you guys are looking for either a more affordable option for hoops or if you're looking at the charms that are also in gold vermeil, which makes you have to take it off anyway there isn't really a point in investing in the solid gold if you're just doing it for the charms if you're wearing obviously solid gold earrings that's a completely different story but if you have to take it off anyway and you don't have a pair and you're like i want to invest in a more affordable pair i feel like you can definitely check out these earrings because like i said for these charms you have to take it off anyway so how the charms work it just comes in like a little charm like this and then it dangles so i just feel like this is what it looks like it's super cute and it is in red so this is what the hoop looks like with the hoop charm I just feel like it has that little touch of the dark red and it's just so cute I feel like it is definitely very trendy especially because like I said I feel like red is especially in this season if you guys have followed me for my hauls from before then you'll actually know that I've been collecting red for over a year so when this year when red was in I I already had so many of the items like the heirloom ring in red. I had a pendant in red. I had a lot of things in red already. So that kind of came in clutch. But the reason why I think not to spoil the rest of my video because I'm gonna give recommendations a little bit later. But honestly, I think that the reason why colored jewelry items make such a great gift is because if you're a girl, you're like, I'm honestly a plain, simple gold pair of hoops. Like I'm gonna just buy that myself. And you probably will buy it the second you think that you need it because you're just like, this is a statement thing, girl math, you're always gonna wear it, whatever. You're, you're kind of like pricing it out. But when it comes to colored jewelry, so if you look on the Majuri website, there's obviously a a lot of colored items you can check out the ruby stuff like i'm showing you right now there's also a lot of stuff in emeralds which if people are like oh it's so hard to pair color i feel like that's what makes it a great gift because it's harder to girl math your way out of colored jewelry items. So if you are thinking about getting someone something really nice that they wouldn't necessarily get for themselves, but it would be a very nice thing to have, check out some colored jewelry items. I feel like it's just less people are likely to buy this for themselves, whereas a simple pair of gold statement hoops, like 
they're gonna buy this for themselves, okay? Doesn't matter if it's Christmas, their holiday, or if they got their paycheck, they're gonna buy it. I wanna try on these ones for you. So this is another set of earrings and this is another set of hoop charms. Once again, both of these are in gold vermeil. So the difference is that these hoops are actually slightly smaller than the ones I'm wearing right now. So this is what it looks like together. This is the smaller hoop with the other ruby. I actually really like this combination. I feel like it looks really cute. It might be a little over kill on the red but honestly if you're making a statement this looks really cute if you feel like you have fattier earlobes then I would definitely check out some of my diamond recommendations for the hoop charms because this one not saying that I have I thought I had fatty earlobes, but because I can't see, it was just a little bit tougher. But I feel like if you are someone who doesn't like when there's too much room and it's like wobbling around everywhere, then I would definitely get this because there's because there's definitely less space. So it honestly depends on your preference because I feel like some people might wear these earrings, which is the ones that I just recommended. And there's so much room, as you guys can see, for your earlobes, but I feel like some people might not like that I don't know, that jiggle, I guess. And then, so if you want something a little bit less roomy, a little bit tighter on your earlobes, then these ones are great. If you guys want something a little more roomy, but also still for your hoop charms, then check out the diamond ones. Those ones are really, really roomy. For me, I don't necessarily think that I have, you know, fatter earlobes or whatever, but just for the ease of me putting it on, I can put it on way faster when there's more room. So that's kind of the vibe. I feel like I like to make these type of recommendations because you guys are always looking for a review and so that's my review based on my first impression okay guys now it is officially time for my holiday recommendations so if you're watching this video and you need some last minute gift recommendations then you've come to the right place because I pretty much have everything from my jury so I'm gonna literally go through some of the pieces that are my favorite that I think that would make great gifts like I said okay I personally not saying that this would be a bad gift, but I'm not going to recommend something that is like a simple solid gold hoop earring or whatever because it's like, okay, like I feel like she could buy that for herself. You need to get something that is stuff that they might not get for themselves. And also, I would like to also talk about like gift etiquette, okay? There are some gifts where when you open it, you need to have a wow factor and not kind of like a heart sinking factor. So for example, okay, this actually goes with my first recommendation. I do recommend getting the diamond pendant or this initial one, whichever tickles you fancy. However, if you are planning to get the pendant, unless you know for a fact they have the chain to wear with it that is also solid gold okay because this is a solid gold piece so ideally they never have to take it off so unless if you know for a fact they already have a solid gold chain okay you don't want to be looking stingy and just get the freaking pendant because like i don't know I feel like when there's gift etiquette, there's just, you need that wow factor a little bit. Yeah, like I said, unless if they specifically said they don't need the chain, you know that they have to, the chain, whatever the deal. I feel like if you don't know to play it safe, you need to come with the chain, okay? Because you never want to get a gift where it's like, I can only use it if after all these like other circumstances. So you want to have it presented and you're like, perfect, I can wear it immediately. So if you're going to get a pendant of any sort, make sure you either get them a chain or make sure they already have it and you know okay so that when they open it it's like not awkward it's the same thing with hoop charms okay so i have a lot of hoop charm options and i feel like if you're gonna get them a hoop charm you better get them the other hoop earring as well because it's gonna be real awkward if they don't have a hoop earring that fits the hoop charm so for example let me demonstrate, okay? One pair of earrings that I would 100% recommend. This comes in white gold or yellow gold. These are the bold diamond medium hoops, okay? These are amazing on their own and I recommend getting this for your special someone. However, if you were thinking that they have this and you're like, I'm just gonna get them a hoop trunk. Nah, friend, there is literally, this will not fit the hoop charm okay so the one that i would recommend is getting these earrings this hoop earring right here i'm gonna leave all the links down below so you're not confused but this is what actually fits the hoop charm it comes in small medium large if you're confused get medium okay i feel like that is the best way for the solution there's also earrings on the majuri website where for example don't get confused my honeys okay there's these earrings but there's these earrings that don't loop all the way around and why is this important 
painting you may ask it's because if you're planning to get them a hoop charm like if you get them with earrings like this the hoop charm is just gonna fall right off so make sure you get the right earrings for the right charms or you just plainly get them the hoop earrings but like I said you don't want to just show up with a hoop charm and they're like okay so I can't even use this unless I buy my own earring you know so anyway just like this is what I call gifting etiquette you just want to like think it through you know what I'm saying which reminds me if you are planning on buying a hoop charm make sure you read the website even the hoop earrings okay make sure you read the website if it comes in a pair or just one okay because you also don't want to be that person where you ship them a gift and then they open it and they're like oh it's for my one ear cool like a little I mean nice Maybe if they have an odd number of piercing, but otherwise that would be a little bit weird. Okay, next up, the two necklaces that I recommend are the paper clip, only because this has been the most DM'd question of 2023, okay? Everyone has been asking me, do you prefer the serpentine necklace or the paper clip? If your girlfriend or boyfriend, whoever, has one and not the other, a really great present would be the other one because I can't even tell you the number of people that have asked me which one to get. So I feel like I told them and my answer was they're both very different vibes. So I feel like I can't even really choose because they're, one is more statement, one can honestly go with everything. So if they have one of them, the chances that they'll like the other one is very high and it is something very different. So I highly recommend that. Once again, if you're, if you're not able to follow along the video, just all the links are down below and I'm gonna also try everything on for you guys to see. The other necklace that I would get which is a super worth the investment. And this is like a really good gift from a significant other, honestly, because I feel like it really screams your dedication and your investment in the relationship, okay? Is a diamond necklace. This is a great present to get that isn't like, I'm gonna marry you tomorrow, maybe one day, but maybe not tomorrow. But like, this is this is like a good one, you know? Or maybe they're already your fiance. This is an excellent gift, especially for fiancés, I feel like. If you get them this, I feel like this is gonna complement their ring really well. And this is a necklace that will never go out of style. So that is definitely another one that I recommend. In terms of rings, I'm gonna tell you the two diamond pieces that are gonna be so nice to get that they might not have for themselves is my first recommendation and always recommendation is the Pave diamond ring. This ring gets so many compliments by everyone in the the entire world so if you guys don't have this ring either get it for yourself or get it for the person you love because this ring just it is more on the affordable side compared to some of the other rings that are in the thousands and it has all the statement aspects of the ring that you could ask for so I highly recommend this one one that has more of a bling bling effect like if your significant other or the person you love is a little bit more extra I would definitely recommend either the Charlotte diamond ring or the Hyra diamond ring. They both kind of look similar. So at that point, it is just whichever one kind of tickles you fancy. But this is what it looks like right here. Other recommendations, I'm pulling up my phone right now actually because I wanna check out the under 150 range for some more affordable options. So the ones that I absolutely agree with, oh my gosh, okay. So the Mega Domes, the ones that I got, these ones are, like I said, under 150, so they're really great. Another earring that I recommend that is under 150 are actually these ones. These ones are sterling silver that I got, but you can also get these in gold verme. So I personally got the silver ones in the bigger size and then the gold ones in the smaller size so I could wear them back to back. But you can obviously pick whichever metal suits you better. But these ones are super stylish. I have a couple of friends that actually ordered it during Black Friday and they love it. And it looks really, really good when you just wear it on its own, even, even if you don't want to do this little combo that I'm showing you. But if you are interested, I also have 
a video on how to wear mixed metals together so both silver and gold jewelry you guys can go check that out but anyway these ones are great on its own and it's less than 150. another item that i would highly recommend once again maybe this is for the fiance to kind of go with your diamond ring are these diamond earrings i forgot to recommend this during the black friday sale and i feel so bad but these diamond earrings are so nice and they're so classic i just honestly cannot see that this would ever go out of style just like your engagement ring shouldn't go out of style so i feel like these items the one the diamond pendant and also these large diamond earrings you guys will be able to wear it all together like the trifecta you know what i mean the ring your diamond engagement ring your earring your necklace like you just got it going on you know another <laughs> diamond product sorry the reason why i'm laughing is because yes i know that this is a lot so i'm going to you know have some non-diamond ones as well but it's just because diamonds are a girl's best friend and they make such great gifts so if this is within your price range i highly recommend this bracelet everyone me messages me and they ask me if i got the one carat or two i actually got this bracelet before there was an option to choose so i think it's i'm pretty sure this is the one carat but this bracelet is one that is so so nice like i cannot even begin to describe if you're not getting it for someone else at least get it for yourself you know what i mean the diamond tennis bracelet is so gorgeous i feel like for my own personal wish list if i could get the diamond revere necklace like the one that just is circular all around or even the diamond tennis necklace oh my god those are the two things that are on my personal wish list but i know that any of these diamond products are going to be on someone's wish list even if they didn't know it okay they will wear it every day and love it for some other solid gold pieces that i highly recommend i honestly recommend these earrings right here i feel like i recommend it in every video but i honestly feel like the oversized thin hoops are such a majority classic and it is absolutely gorgeous i feel like these are earrings that are a really nice gift to yourself because i think some people might not think this is something they need, but once you start wearing it, you're like, oh my God, I can't live without it. So this is what makes this one such a great gift. If you guys liked the whole diamond idea, but didn't want to commit to the whole price tag of an entire diamond bracelet another one is the diamond bar bracelet i'm gonna wear all of these soon or just put it on the side for you it's just because right now my nails are extra long it's really hard for me to put it on but the diamond bar bracelet someone asked me to review it and here is your review honestly i think that if you want a little touch of diamond and you want something a little bit more affordable without the diamond tennis bracelet i honestly think this is such a great alternative because you still get to see the diamond in the main part of where your hand is instead of all the way around so that way you know you can save on the price tag without having to pay for the diamond for 80 percent of your wrist another reason is because this way you can actually also choose the chain that you want there are two different chains that i have there's one that is the boyfriend chain and the other one that is a more plain chain and i feel like both of these are honestly wonderful it's just really depending on their preference i do think that this chain is a little bit more classic and the boyfriend chain is going to be someone who is a little bit edgier and a little bit more just you know want something that that is more trendy anyway those are my personal recommendations for holiday i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any questions make sure you leave them down below and i will be sure to answer them thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye